As most of you know, today is Women's Equality Day. And this morning, the Women's Caucus had a breakfast and a presentation. And they asked me to present my, not my Angela, Sojourner Truth's poem, Ain't I a Woman? And I agreed to do that with the understanding that I would not only present the, the poem, but weave into it the realities of, my, of Sojourner Truth. Because so often when we hear the poem, Ain't I a Woman? We miss the fact that this is a woman, a little different than other women, who presents to not only them her challenges in life, but talks about the resiliency of who she is. And we often hear, ain't I a woman? I thought about it recently when there was a woman being beaten on the freeways of Los Angeles with the CHP. And many asked, isn't that a woman? And someone said, yes, but it's a black woman, so what does that mean in terms of our treatment? So I'm going to present to you today what I presented this morning. The speaker has asked me to do that. And this is a, a tribute, Ain't I a Woman? But it utilizes the poetry of Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes, Carolyn Rogers, Mari Evans, and of course, Sojourner's Truth, Ain't I a Woman? Hope you enjoy it. Ain't I a woman? Tall as a cypress, Strong beyond all definitions, defying place and time and circumstances. Assailed, impervious, and indestructible. That man over there says a woman needs to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me into carriages or over mud puddles or give me my any best place. And ain't I a woman? Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and going into places where it's been dark, where there ain't been no light. Because you see, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. Look at me, look at my arms. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man can head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lash as well. And ain't I a woman? My mother, she did not recognize the poster of Leroy Jones on the wall. Her had ever seen the books of black poetry that I'd written. And in any expression, she would not be considered relevant or black. But yet there she was standing in my room, not loudly condemning that day and not remembering that I grew, hearing her curse the factory where she had to cut her slave or the job that wouldn't allow a union. Not remembering that I heard her tears when they told her that a high school diploma was not enough and that now here, not able to understand but she was forced to deny, but still she pushed into my kitchen so she could open my refrigerator to see what I had to eat and press $50 in my hand saying, pay the phone bill and buy some food because you got folks who care about you. My mother, a religious Negro, proud of having waded through a storm is obviously a sturdy black bridge that I crossed over on. I was born 13 children and seen them all sold off into slavery. And when I cried out for my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And ain't I a woman? She stands before the abortion clinics confounded by the lack of choices. In the welfare line reduced to the pity of handouts. Ordained in the pulpit shielded by the mysteries. In the operating room husbanding life. In the choir loft holding to God in her throat. And on lonely street corners hawking her body. In the classroom loving the children to understanding. Centered on the world stage, she sings to her loves and her beloved, to her foes and her detractors. However I am perceived and deceived, however my ignorance and conceits, lay aside your fears that I will be undone, for I shall not be moved. Then that little man in the back over there, the man who says that women can't have no rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with it. 
So if the first woman ever made as was strong enough to turn this world upside down all by herself, these women here can set it right again. So I wanna thank you for what you've given me the opportunity to say as old sojourner, but I wanna leave you with this. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Because I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like the moons and like the stars with the certainty of tide, like hope springing high, still, I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken, bowed head and lowered eyes, shoulders falling down like teardrops, weakened by my soul for cries? Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it off a hard because I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sexiness upset you? Does it come as a surprise that I dance like I've got diamonds at the meeting of my thighs? Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. Up from a past rooted in pain, I rise. I'm a black ocean, leaping and wide, and welling and swelling, I bear in the tide, leaving behind nights of terror and fear. I rise into a daybreak that's wondrously clear. I rise bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave because I am the dream and the hope of the slave. I rise, I rise, I rise. Ain't I a woman? Thank you. <laughs>